Sankaram brings in us the abundance of nature, the privilege to breathe in this world. Don't you think so? The five elements of nature, as we say, it was there from the beginning of the birth of this earth. Namely, Prithvi, Agni, Vayu, Akash and Jal. What happens in today's civilization? The eternal mystery continues to haunt the human mind even today. How did the earth come into being? What was there at the onset? Oh yes, the air that began blowing was with the right proportion of gases. The water that started to flow and take control of three-fourth part of this planet earth allowed tolerance for birds and other creatures to breathe and fly. Slowly and through various evolutions, Homo sapiens or human beings came to see the light of the day. Steadily, they learned to satisfy hunger and fend for themselves. Imagine a wonderfully sunlit morning, birds gliding in joy, the human heart wanted much more to fly like a bird to become the fastest creature mechanically. Speed became the catchword of modern day civilization. Technological advancement cut short the laid back lifestyle and blissful hours that one could enjoy. We are leading a tremendously stressful life which is giving birth to hypertension, obesity and stressed lifestyle. How are we to come back from that? We would like to take a journey into nature. And now, a journey back to nature. This photographer has traveled widely through the globe. He now takes a journey here through his camera and through the abundance of nature. He is mesmerized. He is floored. The only sound is that of gentle breeze, chirping birds and the click of his lens the lovely collection of flowers, the pristine setting out here in the cottages. What more can a man want when he is absolutely under stress? He can unfurl like this lovely flower out here. Life is a wonderful journey, they say. This photographer is taking a journey in the abundance of nature with the fountain head, sprinkling waters and lovely vegetation all over. As he roams across the place, he comes face to face with Ms. Rez Fikhathan. who treats the place like a child and takes care of all the activities day in and day out. So just tell me about this beautiful place, something. You see, the unique thing about this place is that it is practically in Calcutta because uh, two kilometers from here, Joka, and that is uh, within Calcutta municipal limits. 
and this is so close to Katana, this is 9 acres of land with 4 water bodies, such a peaceful and serene place, uh, very difficult to find so close to a large city. She is from a multinational company. The stressful world is far behind as she enters the arena of nature cure. We see the place now through her eyes. Just look into the ambience, the decor. The various rooms with the doctors and the conferences join hand to hand. She is now carrying a kit from the Nature Cure, which will be explained at the onset of tomorrow's daylight. And how lovely and peaceful is the interior. People coming here are normally suffering from uh, hypertension because diabetes and blood pressure are all the results of hypertension. So with this water bodies and this peaceful atmosphere, without doing anything, their pressure levels and their hypertension is dissolved. We have this gentleman who has just arrived with multiple complications, hypertension, diabetes and more. He has come to unwind, he has been to various places, but without much result. He has ultimately found his place of peace and recuperation. The day is coming to an end. The patients have assembled here and tomorrow is their D-Day. What is going to happen tomorrow will take you into that journey in this beautiful place. The dedicated teachers or Gurujis of Nature Cure are preparing themselves to share the wonders of nature and rejuvenation with the students now. Now they are steadily approaching to the Dhoti center. Here we see this lady is performing Niti Dhoti. And now it is a clearance for the eye. The chewing of wheat grass grown in their own field. They are now approaching the yoga center. This is the exercise which stimulates the whole body and helps to detoxify the whole system alongside. Pranayam, yoga and various freehand physical exercises are to be seen being performed here. Teachers take special care to create a perfect body movement. And now, they are laughing out, ignoring a spicy breakfast. It is actual breakfast time now. Nothing to do with spices, fruits and plenty of fruits. Remember this ailing patient of yesterday? 
he is being taken. Now for a mud pack. Still unable to walk, he gives his time to get cured all over again. And what other place than this abundantly beautiful nature which will get him cured definitely that's what we feel the photographer is back clicking various frames A rejuvenation center in the truest sense. The loveliness of nature, the sprinkling of water on the vegetation without pesticides. And it is these vegetables that are taken straight for the luncheon session. The ailing patient is taking his lunch. So are the other patients. Rice is being prepared here in the age-old format known as Dheki Chantachal. It is rich with vitamin B12. Having rested for a while, the patients are now on their way to the spa section. Massage and various other activities are given here. The massage that is being given is according to the doctor's advice. This is what we call Zakuzi. Steam bath is being taken. This is a center where Nature Cure provides various items such as herbal tea, herbal medicine, etc. The cookery class is going on where patients are advised how to prepare food without much oil and spices. The ailing gentleman seems to have recuperated a bit. He watches youth coming in front of him. There seems to be a dream in his eyes all over again. This is life. Sometimes you feel ailing and sometimes you come back with the sprightful numbers of the rain. Keep yourself fit always. That is what Nature Care believes in. This is a lovely gymnasium where the youngsters are preparing and sweating out. Aerobics is also a part of the treatment here to reduce weight and become trim all over again. The yogic classes along with aerobics make us feel that the East and West have blended wonderfully here. Herbs are being burned here in order to purify and detoxify the air all around. And now, the railing patient, he can walk, he can stand, he can enjoy the wonderful bounty of nature. Once again, his eyes are dreaming. He smiles 
under the lovely sky, beautiful trees, and envying youth. All of them seem to be so happy that the patient is walking on his own feet. Tell me not in mournful numbers, life is but an empty dream, for the soul is dead that slumbers, and thinks not what the seem. The purity is all over there, with the blowing of a conch shell and the mangalarati. The night is at its own peace at Nature Cure. The lit up place and the sleeping child after a hard day's toil under a glowing moon tells the story in its own way. Dreams fulfilled and for the others to come and fulfill their dreams again. The day comes to an end at Nature Cure. The earth began to this age of race. It's a long, long way to speed and pace. We reduce the strain and stress. We share is the magic of nature. Care.